You guys are watching Brian's Insights here with a very important question for you guys. Something that you should be very concerned about if you have a lot of your life on your computer. Pictures, resumes, um, all that kind of stuff. I won't get into details of other things that you might have on there. Um, so the thing is, your computer has a hard drive in it, which is if you have a desktop computer, it is one of these. Pretty big, pretty heavy. And if you have a laptop, you have a smaller version of that right here. Now the thing is though, they're mechanical devices. And as you may know, your car, things like that, are also mechanical devices. And what happens to mechanical devices? They break down. Now with a hard drive, such as this right here, from a laptop, I, I have this one already loosened up so I can open it up and show you guys. It is a mechanical device with a spinning disc. Look, if you've never seen one of these before, it looks very much like a record player. So I'm going to plug this in, which by the way, just for the record, is being powered completely by solar power that I have up on the roof of the car and on the roof of the house. This is what a hard drive does when you turn it on. You may recognize a noise. So when you have a spinning disk inside your computer and this little metal arm Oops, I broke it. No, it was already broken. By the way, never do this to your computer. If you want to look at your own hard drive, do not ever take the cover off unless the hard drive is dead already. And, you know, because it's it'll destroy your hard drive, basically. That's the point I'm trying to make. Yeah, this one's pretty messed up, as you can see. Yeah, um... So it is a mechanical device. It works by means of magnetic um, little bits of data. It's kind of hard to explain. It's like little all over the disk. And this little arm that's going back and forth reads and writes all that. So what happens over time is, as you can hear with this one, that's not a good noise for a hard drive to be making. If your hard drive is making that noise, if you're hearing that noise coming out of your computer and it's not booting up, it's dead. So if you had important pictures or anything else on there, if you didn't have them backed up already, guess what? They're gone forever. So there are solutions to backing up your data. You can keep on buying a bunch of these. These are actually dual layer DVDs which hold about 8 gigs worth of data. You can, where is it, get these things, little flash drives. Um, these will hold about, well, depending on how big of one you get, you can, this one's 4 gig, they go up to like 64, you know, 32, 64, 128. 256 uh, gigabytes right now I think um, they keep gr growing in capacity um, but the thing is is like for people with a lot of data like especially creative types like me that have a lot of huge video files and pictures graphics all that kind of stuff I mean this video right here that's being recorded onto the memory card of my camera right now this is probably gonna come out to about 2 gigs and I save all of the original um, footage and so when I go into my editing program and I put it all together and then I re uh, save it out into a new file I um, you know render the, the the completed project if you know any video editing um, that will also come out to like another gig or something like that so and I've got a lot of videos and I've been doing a lot of creative digital art since even before Network 126 so I have like all these like this is my actual hard drive which I actually have a lot of data on this is basically 
that thing that I showed you, it's basically one of these. In fact, the cool thing about this, I'm going off topic, but this actually comes off and I can plug it in to any other hard drive, which comes in handy when you're a computer tech and you want to pull someone's data from a hard drive that just has an operating system messed up. The hard drive itself is physically still good, so I can pull it out and boot, hook it up to the computer, get their documents. So anyway, that was a brief little off-topic tangent. Um, you can back up onto these, you can back up on to DVDs, but DVDs degrade over time. Um, as well as, uh, you know, the regular CDRs too, a any of these recordable discs. They do degrade, um, I, I believe they've la they last a few years, you'd have to look online for specifics, and maybe they've gotten better at manufacturing, I really don't know. But I, I remember I have seen, they're, they're marketing some like special, like uh, uh, gold, uh, that they're actually like made with a, a film of gold instead of whatever these are made out of and they're said to last like a hundred years but <laughs> they're really expensive so the thing is is you can keep backing up onto more hard drives you know you can you can back up you can either upgrade your computer stick another hard drive in a, la a laptop you can't a desktop you can well some laptops there's a space for a second hard drive some only some only like the bigger higher end models so anyway um, you can put another hard drive in your computer and you can actually write to both of them which I find is a good option and and just keep a copy on on two hard drives and make sure that you keep it you, you, you if you're advanced enough it's also called a raid setup where you can actually have it function as one drive but it's actually two physical drives um, so that way if one drive dies then hopefully your other drive is still alive because the chances of both of them dying at the same time are pretty slim though not impossible so that's the point I'm trying to make um, you can oh I should mention they are coming out well they're not coming out they already have uh, solid state um, hard drives which were, are the same that they look the same as this and they still have the plug on it but inside it they look a bit more like this you know more of a um, more of like a, an electronic kind of circuit like if you were to open it up it would look more like that inside um, instead of a spinning disc so um, those are a lot um, quicker they're a lot more reliable there's no moving parts but flash memory can still die too <laughs> so you're really it's really you know that that's the whole dilemma of this whole video is how do you back up your data and you're gonna like I guess the best way is to just keep putting on a new format medium you know put it on a DVD and, and maybe like three four years copy it again onto a, a new DVD or whatever the new technology is have a backup copy on a on, on a flash memory card or whatever um, so yeah uh, <laughs> I guess that but the thing is is do you keep buying a bunch of hard drives <laughs> you know just keep buying because you know because I have hundreds of gigs worth of data so it's like what do I do with it it just keeps accumulating am I just gonna have to keep buying hard drives and hard drives and hard drives and hard drives pretty soon I'll end up having like shoe boxes full of hard drives oh man I can see it already just with so much data that I <laughs> accumulate just because I'm I'm always creating things on the computer and stuff no it's not all filled with porn I know some of you are thinking that <laughs> I can hear you guys commenting already. Um, with that being said, I'll wrap this video up with uh, uh, this is your computer's RAM. This is different, not to be confused with your hard drive. The RAM only stores temporary data, like when you open a program and the, the program files need to, to sit somewhere where they're ready to be ran from, they sit on here. 
so not your hard drive your documents do not go on your RAM they go on your hard drive so yeah that now you know the difference between a RAM and hard drive space hopefully um, look it up on Google if you want more details um, otherwise this video will end up being an hour long explaining all the technicalities of how computers work so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out all my other videos and stay tuned